David Thompson David Thompson, whose full name is David O'Neill Thompson, born on July 13, 1954, is a retired American professional basketball player renowned for his tenure with the Denver Nuggets and both the American Basketball Association, ABA, and the National Basketball Association, NBA, as well as his time with the Seattle Supersonics and the NBA. Prior to his professional career, Thompson gained fame as a college star at North Carolina State University, leading the Wolfpack to their inaugural NCAA championship victory in 1974. Notably, he is among the select group of players to have scored 70 or more points in a single NBA game. In recognition of his contributions to the sport, Thompson was inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 1996. Thompson's athletic prowess, particularly his extraordinary leaping ability, distinguished him as one of the premier dunkers of the 1970s, earning him the moniker Skywalker. His vertical leap was so exceptional that it became a benchmark in the sport. Michael Jordan acknowledged Thompson's influence, stating, the entire concept of vertical leap originated with David Thompson. Additionally, basketball legend Bill Walton likened Thompson to a combination of Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Tracy McGrady, and LeBron James, underscoring his impact and versatility on the court. Net Worth David Thompson has an estimated net worth of $3 million. He acquired these substantial sums through his NBA career and various business enterprises. Early Life and College Career David Thompson was born in Shelby, North Carolina to Veli and Ida Thompson. He was a 6'4 shooting guard and small forward who played at Crest High School. David Thompson played his college basketball at NC State and his number 44 was retired. Thompson attended Crest Senior High School, where he played for the varsity basketball team for four years. His talent earned him a spot in the North Carolina Coaches Association's East-West All-Star Basketball Game in 1971. Interestingly, he shares a familial connection with Alvin Gentry, as both grew up in Shelby, North Carolina. Thompson's college journey at North Carolina State University had its highs and lows. In 1973, he led the Wolfpack to an undefeated season, 27-0, but they faced a postseason ban due to NCAA rules violations related to his recruitment. However, Thompson rebounded in 1974, guiding his team to a remarkable 30-1 season and securing the NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Championship. Notably, in the semifinals, NCSU defeated reigning national champions UCLA in double overtime, followed by a convincing victory over Marquette in the championship game. His incredible jumping ability earned him the nickname Skywalker, and alongside teammate Monty Tao, he pioneered the alley-oop pass, revolutionizing offensive strategies in basketball. One of the most memorable games of Thompson's college career was the 1974 ACC tournament finale against the University of Maryland Terrapins. Despite Maryland's impressive performance, the Wolfpack, led by Thompson and teammate Tommy Burleson, clinched a thrilling 103-100 overtime victory. This game, played without a shot clock or three-point field goal, is regarded as one of college basketball's finest moments and contributed to the expansion of the NCAA tournament to include teams beyond league champions. Thompson's legacy extends beyond his college achievements. He is considered one of the Atlantic Coast Conference's greatest players alongside luminaries like Michael Jordan, Ralph Sampson, and Tim Duncan. Despite playing during an era when the slam dunk was prohibited, Thompson left an indelible mark on NC State basketball. His jersey number 44 remains the only one retired by the school's men's basketball program. In a fitting tribute to his contributions, Thompson became the first player to have a statue erected outside Reynolds Coliseum in 2023, immortalizing his impact on NC State basketball history. Personal Life Thompson and Kathy had two daughters, Erica and Brooke. They graduated together on December 17, 2003. Brooke was a participant on Global Guts. Kathy passed away in August 2016. Thompson's substance abuse issues stemmed from his 1979 to 80 foot injury, leading him to seek help in 1983 after a tumultuous debut season in Seattle. His career ending knee injury in 1984 resulted from a fight at Studio 54, impacting his 1985 tryout with the Indiana Pacers, where he was later arrested for public intoxication. By 1986, he was spending $1,000 daily on cocaine and checked into rehab in Kirkland, Washington. 
After a 1987 assault conviction, Thompson became a committed Christian and turned his life around. Professional career. Thompson was highly sought after, being the top pick in both the American Basketball Association, ABA, and National Basketball Association, NBA, drafts of 1975. Opting for the ABA, he joined the Denver Nuggets. Despite coming in second to Julius Irving in the inaugural slam dunk competition, Thompson was named MVP of the ABA All-Star Game, earning a credenza television set as a prize. During his rookie season, the Nuggets posted an impressive 60-24 record, advancing to the 1976 ABA Finals after a hard-fought series win against the Kentucky Colonels. Facing Irving's New York Nets, Thompson delivered stellar performances, averaging 28.3 points and 6.3 rebounds per game in the finals, narrowly losing in a 4-2 series. His standout efforts earned him the 1976 ABA Rookie of the Year award. The ABA-NBA merger saw Thompson continue with the Nuggets. He made four NBA All-Star Game appearances, notably scoring 73 points in a game against the Detroit Pistons on April 9, 1978, in a bid to win the NBA scoring title, narrowly missing out to George Gervin. Thompson's career took a downturn after a foot injury sidelined him for the latter part of the 1979-80 season. Despite a strong return the following year, averaging 25.5 points per game, his performance gradually declined, prompting his trade to the Seattle Supersonics in 1982. In Seattle, Thompson experienced a brief resurgence, making the 1982-83 All-Star Game. However, his production dipped, and he missed most of the 1983-84 season due to rehabilitation. Rejoining the Sonics later that season, Thompson's career was further marred by a 1984 knee injury, leading to his retirement. Post-playing career In 1990, Thompson joined the Community Relations Department of the Charlotte Hornets. At the age of 37, he participated in the Legends Classic during the 1992 NBA All-Star Weekend. Unfortunately, he and Norm Nixon were both stretchered off the court with serious leg injuries, leading to the event's retirement after the 1993 festivities. In 2003, Thompson returned to North Carolina State University to finish his sociology degree. The following year, he produced an autobiographical film titled Skywalker. Inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame on May 6, 1996, he had the honor of introducing Michael Jordan at his induction in 2009. Currently, Thompson serves as a motivational speaker and remains involved in activities with the Hornets and Denver Nuggets. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with friends, and please subscribe.